According to the most recent data, suicide rates in Maine are declining, but suicides still claim the lives of 268 Mainers in 2022. We're a community that, that gets it. Kathy Streifel has been volunteering for the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention for almost a decade. She got involved when she lost her brother to suicide. I recognized stigma was, was attached to my loss. And I said, well, <laughs> the loss is obviously going to be super hard to deal with. So I'm going to shed that stigma right here. That's not coming to. Now she volunteers to help support others going through the same kind of loss and to educate people on the signs of suicide. You want to uh, be cognizant of what people are doing, what they're saying, and, and how they appear to feel. Some of those signs include sleeping too little or too much, giving away their personal items, or saying they don't have a reason to live. It's not just AFSP Maine that's marking World Suicide Prevention Day. Kyle Pisanier is the owner of Catalyst for Change Wear. 11 years ago, he was dealing with suicidal thoughts. It was really like just a, a, a really big cry for help. He made one suicide prevention sweatshirt, and that changed everything with the goal of reminding others who are struggling to keep going. And once I saw that clothing could be a vehicle for conversation and fundraising, we just didn't stop. Over the last decade, Catalyst for Change has donated close to $50,000 to AFSP Maine, so it can continue to provide resources to Mainers who need them. But I would say for me, I think it's really just the messaging to get out there. The fundraising aspect is always important. But I think the, the message for this specific topic is even more important. If you or someone you love is struggling, help is available. Here in Maine, you can dial 988 to be connected to resources. In Portland, I'm Jackie Mundry for Maine's Total Coverage.